So I'm pretty clear what I want to do with the vocal. I think I want to make it really nice and level and then bring in maybe some vintage compression to kind of just enhance it a little bit. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a Dynamics processor. This is on the lead vocal. And I'm going to use a very light ratio, so something like 1.1, 1.2. And then quite a low threshold. I'm going to do an RMS mode so it's not responding as much to the peak level, although we can kind of tweak that and see which, what's working better. And then we can use a fairly fast attack and then let's try the release on 60 and let's see what we get. So we're looking for about 3 dB of compression. And then we can make up gain 3 dB here. And it's basically just going to fatten up and level the vocal quite nicely. Let's try on a bit of a kind of bigger section. So much more solid with the compression in, kind of a little bit less floaty with the compression in, which, you know, is a stylistic decision, I suppose. But it, I can, it kind of makes it sound a bit more rock with the compression in. It's a bit more solid, a bit more in your face. It's almost a bit more lo-fi without the compression in, but I'm going to keep the compression in. And then I'm going to go to the vintage compressor. And let's try out some strategies here. So we could try smooth compression, which is going to kind of, again, hold it in place a little bit, bring out some body. Let's try that. So with a slow release, we're going to be really kind of holding that in place and smoothening it out. So again, it's solidifying the vocal a little bit. Let's try it in a sharp mode and maybe let's try the release a little bit faster and see if we can get something which brings out the vocal a bit more and see what that does. Yeah, I quite like that combination, actually. So we've got the first compressor really solidifying the vocal, holding it in place, leveling it out, making it nice and fat. And then this second compressor, the vintage compressor, in the sharp mode, which is much more kind of pumping and much more responsive, where you're letting the transit through and then we're, we've got a fairly fast release. We could try that fast stretch. And that's kind of, you can see it's moving a lot more. And that's kind of bringing the vocal out a little bit and, yeah, affecting the tone of it in a pleasing way. Let's try a faster release to see what happens.
can it make this a bit more pronounced by having the threshold a bit higher and then making the ratio a little bit higher as well. So you can see when I brought the attack down, it started to soften the transient a little bit, which we don't want. Yeah, I feel like tonally it helps the vocal. So let's bring these two processes in and out and we can hear the difference. Definitely solidifying the vocal quite nicely. We haven't done this for a while. Let's do a little bit of a A B comparison with the start point we had. So I feel like that that's working quite nicely. Everything seems to be a little bit bigger sounding when we bring in the kind of semi-mixed version. So I'm happy that's moving in the right direction. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to have a look at introducing a little bit of kind of additive EQ stroke kind of harmonic excitation using Ozone to try and bring some of the sounds, sounds out a little bit more. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.